Hey everyone, welcome to Money Wirework. Today we're gonna to be covering SPY, we're gonna see where the S&P 500 is headed, and then we're gonna talk about some of the meme stocks, the stocks I refer to as the stranger trades because they're uh, pretty crazy and definitely something different than your normal technical analysis trading, but we're gonna track them. I know a lot of people out there on the um, internet and that follow trades and stuff like that like to follow some of the meme stocks. So we're gonna be talking about one trade at least as of today one of those tickers is up 29 percent uh so let's get into spy i have the s p 500 right here um i drew these re resistance lines a while back and we're following the s p 500 with these resistance lines as of right now the s p 500 has gone through this top resistance line um, this is the downward trend channel at the moment the price action has gone up over the 50 100 and 200 day moving average and if you are looking to go long on the s p 500 then you want to come down see a bounce ideally outside above this trend channel and then come back up and a higher high would be something uh, above 40 uh, 432.02 okay now it can still come down for example and and go up to a newer high um, it could come down hit this uh, 100 day moving average at about 418 and bounce back up it could also trade sideways it could come down even more to the 410.68 and come back up but I'm just talking in terms of an ideal situation you would want it if it were to start taking a breather right now and then see a higher high ideally you'd still want it to come out of this trend channel and stay out of this trend channel and the reason why is because you want to if you're going long on the s p 500 in this situation right now you want a new trend channel to form okay so you want to break away from this and start a new momentum a new trend channel to the upside now if you're looking to go short on this you're looking to see this come back down go through this top of the tr uh, trend channel right now and then when it comes down and it comes up you want it to see you want to see a bounce off of one of these sma lines and so it comes down comes up hits the SMA line and comes back down because that'll show you that it's starting to act as a resistance once again, okay? So we have not actually as of yet tested any of these SMA lines. For the most part, I, I, I stand corrected a little bit. I did, we did see right here, it came down and it started to hit this 200 day a little bit, kind of was bouncing back and forth though between the 200 and 100 day moving average but as far as a bounce away from the sma lines and then coming back down and having the price action really test it we have not actually really seen that yet if we just bring up the tsi for a second we're very overextended so if you're looking to go long on the s p 500 right now or if you're tracking the s p 500 to see it you know maybe you're waiting on some other tickers that are within the s p 500 you know it's always good to track the indices um you're just over extended right now we want to see this come down and we want to see a bounce back up okay so my sentiment in the market right now i still think we're going to come down and go to a, a new uh low but we'll see what happens you know everything can change you know i did say that i think we're going to continue this momentum for a while leading up to the fed meeting in september um and that's exactly what we're seeing so so far we're we've been right about that um, and we'll track and see where it goes. All right, so now let's get into some of the meme stocks, some of the stranger trades here. Let's just start with the biggest and most famous of them all. Um, and I just bring this up just because there's there's such high volatility, volatility in these and they could really produce good gains, but the downside is they're very risky because of this constant up and down. So it's kind of, you can't have your cake and eat it too all the time. You know, you gotta, 
you know, take advantage of some things and just understand that they have higher risks, okay? And I just want to, I guess, provide some sort of idea of what you're looking at on some of these bigger moves right here. You know, if you were to follow this blue line right here or this blue cloud right here, you know, we reached 100% at the top there. Um, if you were to follow this guy right here, now let's say you get on, on that candle and you ride it all the way up to the wick, that's a 25% gain. Still really nice. I mean, that's huge. That's really nice. Let's say you get in after this candle. Let's see what the top is here. 56%. And we can just actually just uh, measure this last one here, this recent one. Let's say you get it on that candle after the cloud forms. And what is the top there? You're at 68%. So the reason why I put up to the wick is because you can put a trailing stop loss, which is something I would, um, I don't know. It's tough to have a trailing stop loss uh, because you have such high volatility. But as soon as you start to gain a good amount of profits, maybe you do want to start putting one in there and tightening it up so once you get up to you know this 48 dollar range and starts to come back down to you know 42 you have your stop loss down there or maybe even a little lower depending on what you want to do um amc right now is on a decent uptrend we're looking at uh 118 percent on its current highest point on this uptrend as of right now we're at 97 percent okay so um again you can track this uh you can look for bounces off of these sma lines and you can trade these as far as something like going long in this environment in the market i wouldn't suggest it and you can see how these higher spikes have just been sold off and this is if the s p 500 goes back down this is just going to sell straight off and it's going to sell very quickly. Some people are going to probably get mad at me for putting Palantir on the meme stock part of it, um, of my watch list, but it is what it is. They had bad earnings. Um, a lot of people didn't like how Alex Karp presented himself in the earnings. Uh, they're still diluting shares like crazy. They're their shareholders, I should say, like crazy. And, um, you know, that just hurts anyone that's holding. Um, this is a stock APD that was sort of uh, seeing a lot of recent spike based on the um, monkeypox situation. And then the granddaddy of them all right now, at least, is BBBY. Now, as of right now, its highest is at 461%. Four hundred and sixty-one percent in a matter of a few days, which is crazy. But don't get too excited because the odds of you being able to get in down here, I guess if you're playing every cloud, you're gonna eventually strike gold, but I don't know, when do you sell out of that? You know, I it's tough. You know, you have to play these at a lower time frame in my opinion so we can just get rid of this for a second here let's just hide that so in my opinion if you are going after something like bb uh by because of the high volatility you have to go for a shorter time frame so that your your chart makes some sort of sense and that you could be a little bit more cautious because on these lower time frames, you can play down here at 550, and then when it starts to show signs or even just the right cloud, 1015, that's 100% move. Okay, and then you get back in right here at 1008, and then, I mean, you haven't seen a red cloud really yet. There's a little one forming here, but let's just say you, you know, you take it and you're like, okay, heck it, I'm doubling my money again. I'm getting out at 2086. If you try to ride the entire thing, you're gonna lose out. You just wanna take advantage of price action and you wanna get out before it starts to turn, especially on trades like these, okay? So keep in mind, as a trader, you're not trying to play the entire move, and that's why I talked about in a previous video, if you have mad FOMO, you're gonna get in trouble, okay? Because you're gonna rush to get in to a trade, and you're gonna wanna hold on to your trade, your hold on to your winning position, 
um, as it starts to go back down and that's how you get caught in trades and that's how you turn profitable trades into unprofitable trades that's how you turn good trades into mediocre trades um, and bad trades into worse trades you're never gonna catch everything all right so keep that in mind um, if you like this content like subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate everyone uh, watching this content and stick around for some more thank you